the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the Holly View app. Just go grab it on the App Store for Android or Mac, or I should say iPhone. Anyways, if you notice here in the app, I don't have the option for the 400S Pro. Reason being is I have not updated the app recently. So I'm going to click down to me at the bottom right corner and then hit App Version. And when I do that, it's going to prompt me to update the app. So I'm going to go on and hit Update. It's going to take me over to the App Store and just click Update. Now, once I have done that update, I'm going to go back into the app and you're going to notice that the Mars 400S Pro is now available within the app to connect to. There we go. And as you can see, it is now available. But the next thing is I have to connect to the Wi-Fi that the transmitter and receiver put out. So I make sure that both of them are turned on. And once they're turned on, we're going to go to Wi-Fi, and then we're just going to wait for that option to pop up, which is the HLD. Now, the password is 12345678. Um, the password is also in the settings. You can see what the password is in the settings of the device, but again, it's 1 through 8. Really simple. So now that that's connected, we still got a few more steps we have to do to connect. Um, we have to put the code after the underscore. So HLD underscore and then what comes after that, which I believe is B008117. And I have to go back and forth a few times because while I was doing this, I kept forgetting <laughs> what that code was. So we all make mistakes sometimes. So anyways, B0081. And then I was like, what is the last two numbers? And I was like, oh, 17. Okay. So back in. And now it will connect to the device. Um, there are a few settings. Um, if you notice here, uh, I allow photo access, read and write, and I also allow um, while using app for location. So if you want to go in and mess with any of those settings, you can. It just pops those up and gives you the option. All right, back into the app here. We're going to hit connect, and there we go. Now we're getting a wireless signal from the transmitter uh, through the receiver wirelessly into my iPad 6 generation. This is the back end setup or behind the scenes setup of the actual video um, so that you can see that it's actually working. Let's go.